Hayward, and he plays a lot like his dad. Off the play, fake Lombardi with a pocket collapsing, and he fell down to a knee, could not stay up, but it's going to be a loss for Michigan State. Yeah, good point. It's senior day here at Spartan Stadium, but those seniors at Rutgers, they have no bowl to look forward to. This is it. Cody White with a reception, and he has the first down. All eight wide receivers on the two deep have been injured at some point or another this year for the Spartans. Straight up the gut, Connor Hayward with a nice chunk out to the 32. Five, needing to get to the 36. And they'll give it to Hayward. Hayward is not going to get anywhere close. He tried to bounce it outside. Isaiah Wharton says, no, sir. 13.8 points a game, second to last in the country. The run game has been the one saving grace. Isaiah Pacheco, he's been pretty good. Takes it into the 28th. They're kind of right in that no man's land. Third down and nine. Rashidio with time but nobody to throw to. Nice spin move and then he's met abruptly and still driving the pile forward. Well, he got across. Did he get across the line though at the end? He was close. About this entire season for a freshman could not have been more supportive, Rashidio. Handoff and Raheem Blackshear is met quickly and driven down to the ground. Mike Ponashuk the first to get there. Mentioned it. Ponashuk and Williams have been a staple inside. Now Rashinho going for the end zone. Oh. What a pass! What a catch! Touchdown, Rutgers. Travis Vokalek, the sophomore. Ten win in the worst way. Yeah, they got off to the one and zero start and lost ten straight. Rocky Lombardi through the raindrops, able to complete it out to Daryl Stewart. All the injuries they've had at wide receiver. Stewart has also missed a couple of games, but he gets 11 yards there. Redshirt freshman Lewerke was the incumbent starter. Redshirt junior watching from the sidelines today, but he is ready to go if needed. Jefferson out to the 46-yard line to pick up a four. He's got over 2,700 career rushing yards. Off the play fake. That is called in across the 50. Daryl Stewart with his second catch of the drive. Yeah, and it's just a thing that freshmen got to do. You know, young players got to be able to do. Here he hands off to Ladarius Jefferson. Giovanni Rashino has been good early. Here they'll go to the ground, and Isaiah Pacheco out to the 20. Hold right here in the mid-40s and then drop later tonight. Giovanni Rashino kept that. And look at look him at that powering fight. forward. That's yeah. the second time we've seen just that when he has, it's been late off the bench. Tosses it out to Pacheco. Yep. Pacheco, Pacheco runs hard. But numbers five, six, and seven. Yeah. So after the great punt, pins Michigan State back. Hayward gets it out just shy of the ten with a three-yard, maybe a four-yard carry. It's been playing better, and they played well so far here today. Michigan State just barely converted the third down before with Hayward, and now they start the second quarter with number eleven. He's always around the football. Only the second Rutgers player to do that since 2000. He's not going to be in on this tackle, though, as Hayward is able to bounce it outside and pick up the first. Got gloves on the hands to try and give it as much traction as he can. He's missed on his last three throws. What a haul in by Hayward with one hand on a high throw. He can do it all. He really can. Last week in Nebraska. Lombardi with a clean pocket is able to sling it out to Larice Nelson. And that will keep the drive going. High formation, second 10. They were able to escape. They were able to turn that into a positive game. Pocket starts to collapse and over the middle. Whoa, getting up. Ended Travis Vokalak, who had the touchdown grab earlier, but boy, Antoine Simmons flipped him upside down. Great stick. Thankfully, Vokalak okay. Now they'll toss it out to the right to Pacheco. Well, Pacheco had a heating pad on his left calf. They get the suit up. Yeah, to seven, start the night. seven seniors on this side of the ball for Rutgers. And that pass into the hands of Daryl Stewart. He tried to stretch out for the first down. Looks like he got it. And he did. Penalty today. They had seven last week against Nebraska. Some of them very costly in that 9-6 loss. Lombardi throws back to Hayward. Hayward into the red zone before stepping out. Nice design. There's like a whole family tree of Allen's playing center here at Michigan State. Yeah, he's the third. The other two were all conference members. Now for the end zone. Wide open. Touchdown. Tight end. Matt Sokol. Then it's 
Jonathan Hillman, Hillman to the left of Rashino. Rashino's going to take off. He does it again. He picks it up with his legs. He is a tough kid. To one another. That make one's about 330. Rashino after the run last play. Able to swing it out. For the completion to Nakia Griffin Stewart. Some drives. I mean, I think they've been missing that component all year. Not much there. That Michigan State run defense led by Tyreek Thompson standing strong. Leading receiver Cody White, but he's tackled right on the spot. That'll bring up third and two. In game on the big screen here earlier. <laughs> yes. The fans went nuts. They know. Back shoulder throw. Wow. Flag comes in, but it's a catch anyway by Cody White, so the interference on Wharton doesn't matter. First down. The work he started today. And he's now hit on six of his last seven passes as he completes that to Daryl Stewart for the first down. That's a quick slant right there. That's a good throw. Now a minute left. Rutgers will have two timeouts. Did that hit? They're going to say no. For a second, the fans thought that hit Saquon Hampton. Oh, they do say it hit him. What a break for Michigan State. Both teams shooting themselves in the foot here the final couple of minutes of the half. Well, pitch and catch. Just shy of the 10 for Daryl Stewart. And they'll take a timeout with 42 seconds remaining. Colonel Sanders in the building here for the raindrops on second and four. Lombardi going to be dragged down. Good effort by Tyshawn Fogg. We called his name a lot. 30 yarder for Matt Coughlin who scored all of Michigan State's points the last two weeks. Oh boy. He lost his footing and this is Lewerke normally the quarterback and he's going to throw an interception. Trevor Morris picks it. And Trevor Morris returns it out around the 35 yard line and Chris Ash is fired up. Oh yeah. Third down conversions. Including that last one in there when they try to hand it off to Blackshear. You're right, Baldy. They are just to the ball too quickly. Joe Bocci does it again. They need 17 yards. They'll go underneath. Blackshear not going to get near enough. <laughs> Antoine Simmons just laid him out. Wrote the quarterbacking records at West Des Moines High School. That pass complete. Nice throw and going up to grab it, Cam Chambers, who is a native of Sicklerville, New Jersey. Nebraska, where they had a lot of drops from the wide receiving crew. Yeah, most drops they've had all season in that game. Hayward met behind the line. Mike Tverdoff. 14 degrees when I left my house yesterday morning. Second down at 11. Mid 40s here today and missed all afternoon. And that pass is, is it intercepted by Hampton? No, they're going to say incomplete. That's what replay is all about. They think they got it right. Well, they're going to do a halfback pass. But Jekko oh. is picked. Josiah Scott. And Scott takes it back to the 35 of the man who threw the interception. Pacheco brings him down. But how about that? An interception followed by an interception. This year for Mark D'Antonio. That's how many injuries they've had. Lombardi hit as he throws once again Hayward, but just nothing there. Oh man, I tell you what a day for Isaiah Wharton now. Good tackle on the outside. Side, they've been durable, tough, and it's a foundation to his defense. And once again, that defense rallies to get Rashino. John Reschke, one of the seniors, a six-year senior for a loss of one. This is Rutgers with a chance here. He saw that first time Tiger leading in the fourth quarter of a Big Ten game, and that'll help. Yeah, two good runs in a row by Pacheco. A flag, two flags actually came in at the end of this play. Pacheco runs hard. Very close. They let it stand. <laughs> they let it stand, and then the penalty, but the defense is responding for Rutgers. Alan Lamore and John Badecki got in there. This one is right down the gut. So the sophomore from Bridgewater, New Jersey, just up the road from Rutgers, converts and gives him a 10-7 lead. Nationally recognized they've been against the run, but it's really been Rutgers defense today that's been the story. It's going to take a nice bounce. Yeah. Oh, a very nice bounce. All the way down to the goal line. William Preston.
into man defense. Field goal range, that's the season long 49 yards. They're trying to get to that line, and Lombardi gets down a little more. So when he can't throw it well, why not run it well? Rushing league they've had in the second half. And now they'll reverse it with White. White's got the edge, and Cody White is into the end zone. Michigan State leads. If your quarterback is struggling, you got to find another way to move the ball. He's got to beat a very good defense to do it. They start throwing. Beautiful pass to Blackshear. Wow. That's a that was a dart by Rashid. Next year, 44 receptions now on the season. Maybe none bigger than that. Rashid going to try to take off and then throw it at the last second, and it works out perfectly. He's got Vokalek. Oh, look at that. How about Travis Vokalek? He had the touchdown earlier in a big game there. This time the ground game, Blackshear. Nothing. Rochino throws an interception into the hands of Josiah Scott. the 30 he got through the first wave and there was nobody home they went backwards as a team it's hard to develop with a freshman quarterback Rutgers had the lead with four minutes to play but Michigan State they went